How do you think mindfulness affects people in terms of being parents? Or how, why it could be valuable to parents? Well, certainly. If there's any area mindfulness can help in, it's in parenting. Because, wow, it's hard to have kids. And, I mean, it was the fa mo my most favorite thing I ever did was have kids and be home with them. It's a lot of work. And um, that's why in the olden days people had kids when they were 20. <laughs> Because that's how much energy you need with them. But as we are more aging parents, and I didn't have my first child till I was 30, you know, um, it, t it requires a lot of patience. So what mindfulness does is allows us to be more patient with our children, more present with them. I'm of the belief there's no such thing as multitasking. If you're on your the phone with your best friend Susie, you're not with your child. And so we need to understand that we need to unitask and be present every moment with what we want to be engaged with. There's no such thing as multitasking. It doesn't work. So I think that mindfulness helps us become better parents by having us be in the here and now with our child. And they know, they know, know, know whether we're paying attention or not. And so, for example, with, with my kids, I would say, and they'd be like, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. And I'd say, one minute, I'm on the phone with Joe. I'm going to hang up with him. I want to hear every word you're saying. I don't want to miss a word. So hold on one second. I'm going to get off the phone. I'm going to be with you. That's fine with them, you know, because then they know they have you and they, they're with you. And um, I think that's a really important part of parenting. Um, our kids have a good bull meter, you know. They know when, that, when we're just saying something and we're not really honest. And I think we need to be. And mindfulness can help us to stay that way with our children. Mm -hmm. John Kavitson is fond of saying that children are an 18-year retreat <laughs> into mindfulness. I mean, if you really are present. And more. As parents. You know, I, I um, read um, the prophet, Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. There's a poem in there called The Children. And um, I read it when I was 14. And somehow I just knew that this was the blueprint for how to parent. And the notion was that our children aren't ours, you know. They come through us, but they're not of us. And um, we need to be like bows that bend as they're the arrows that shoot forth. And it is. I would say to my kids, I only have 18 years to get this through your head, you know. And we would talk about a lot of things. I wanted to make sure they knew how to sew on a button, iron a shirt, you know, <laughs> these very important things of life. So um, presence with them is very important. I was told by a therapist once, you know, I always thought as a journalist and, you know, mother that I was supposed to teach them how to live, teach them how to be. But the truth, number one, is that they're always teaching us. And number two, a therapist told me, when your kids get home from school, go downstairs in their room and sit there for 45 minutes and just listen. Listen to their day, listen to everything they have to say. Don't teach them anything. Just listen and be present. And that is the greatest teaching of all for kids, to have a present parent who's so interested in hanging on every word. That's mindfulness. That's mindful parenting.